Here are the five things you need to know about the new Rolex leaks. We dug up the whole internet, not, not the whole internet, we dug around the internet to find the very sources of these images, and you'll be surprised that it's actually sitting right under our noses. So stick around till the end of the video to find out. Number five, the leak. Images from a page of the new book, The Watch Book by Gisbert Brunner surfaced with a selection of Rolex GMT Master II. In the Milestones subheading, you can catch a glimpse of an unreleased model in the upper middle portion. It's also named as the reference 126710LN. A clearer image soon came out that seems to be an actual render from Rolex. Number 4. What's New? Currently, the black dialed Black Bezel GMT Master II is not available in Rolex official offerings. If the leak is true, this new GMT Master II will have some improved features that the current lineup is enjoying. From the image, we can obviously see the Jubilee bracelet that was never offered in this model. The loom will likely be improved from Super Luminova to Chroma Light. The movement will reasonably be upgraded to the newer 3285 with improved power reserve among other things. The previous model used a 3186 caliber that was in production for many years. The dial clearly displays the new Swiss-made placement that's right on the minute track. Number 3. Is this fake? Many details points to the direction that this is a proper image with very little to no alterations. Most would likely take the bracelet and dial images and place them on top of this image. These will typically leave artifacts upon closer inspection, which is clearly not visible in this image. The perspective is also correct with a slight blur and fade on the clasp area as this becomes part of the background. Number 2. Let's redo it. Let me try and recreate the image to see how difficult it would be to make. I looked for images online that look similar for the case in bracelet. I found the current Pepsi as the best candidate. First, I desaturated the image to take the colors out. Then, I worked on the bezel and tweaked the shading levels to bring the grays to a darker tone. Then, I added the green accents. This way, no artifacting will be visible because all of the seams remained untouched. And finally, number one, predictions. Here's a last minute info. Upon further digging, I found the very image that's being shared right now. And this one dates back to 2019. Monochrome watches actually published predictions of Rolex releases. During this year, it included the modified images of Rolex renders for the Coke, Red Milgaus, and the Jubilee Black GMT. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the very image that was used for the watch book. I do not think it was an accident since it's clearly named 126710LN on the page the same way as it was in Monochrome Watches post. Not to mention that it did not have a year of release while the others did. So Mr. Brunner may be onto something with this book release. What about you? What are your predictions for 2022 Rolex releases? Comment down below and we'll try to render some of them in the next few episodes. Long stare. You should be cutting right now. <laughs>